If I asked them what's the matter, they wouldn't tell me. They would just say, I don't know. They may start crying, but immediately they start drawing some things. And I realized that the drawings they were having, they were using certain colors that were not by mistake. That's when I started putting some things together to say, I have got to know what these colors represent when people are using them. Child abuse kids, many times they would draw people in sexual positions or draw something that happened to them. And a good trained uh, sexual abuse therapist would know exactly what's going on by looking at the drawings. And I just took it a, a, f a step further and say sometimes instead of drawing a picture of sexual abuse, they may have a color that means I was sexually abused. They may use a color that means I was physically abused. They may use a color that means I feel horrible. They may use a color that means I want to kill myself. Use a color that says I was tortured. I re What's happening in this person's brain is that in their face, which also wraps around at the top of their brain, is a color that is actually telling me that this person is trying to protect themselves, to cover themselves, to have a facade that they, they wear in their face. And that facade actually in this person is saying, I am really, really struggling. I'm having a lot of problems. I'm having a lot of confusion. In fact, I'm experiencing so much negativity that I feel like something has taken me over. This person is what we say in Christian circles is having a tremendous spiritual battle. He is fighting spiritual forces that are driving him to do some things in his life that he would otherwise not do. This seems to be the place in the brain where every memory fragment that is not processed into a story is kept there. This is how I know what is the biggest problem somebody has. When I counsel people who I know they are gay, we will never have a discussion about being gay. We only have discussions about what's in your brain, what's your trauma, and healing it. And as a result, what we see is when the brain heals, the brain starts firing the way it's supposed to fire. Now, it sounds very simplistic to say that, but at least this has been my experience with the people that I've, that I've treated with this, because the brain would tell us what's going on in there.